Hey folks, Quill18 here, back with some more Let's Play SimCity. And as I just said to the live stream audience over here, if a tree falls in the forest, does it make a sound? If a game is unplayable, is it fun? SimCity is lots of fun when you can play it. So, I mean, uh, brr, brr, yay, DRM, always on, yada, yada, yada. We're all mad, we know, but we're in here now. So, let's, let's discuss what we're going to do. Um, ba -ba -ba, everything's going well in the chat, everyone can hear me? Excellent. All right. So, a um, couple of things. I'm debating starting a new city right away because I'm, I'm kind of like want to try different layouts and things. Uh, I probably should actually give a tour of, of Las Brussels first since uh, some changes have happened over there. Um, the city's grown quite a bit, actually. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do a tac a tac city, like a tic tac toe city. I, I don't know what that means. Burn the trees, circle city. Focus on computers. I would like to see a um, a high tech industry city at some point. That is true. But I actually wanted to try my hand at a proper tourist slash potentially like casino type city um, because I figured out some tricks. In fact, there are a couple of quick tutorials that are going to be coming online on uh, YouTube. Um, soon. I'm not going to upload it while I stream, uh, but other than that, I've got a couple put together there. Uh, you can see, I mean, the city is just like, love, especially at night. I mean, I think it's gorgeous. And I mean, I know that this like, little tree line thing is not terribly efficient, but I think it looks great, don't you? I think so. I think it looks like a city. This is the sort of thing you see um, all the time. The problem is because of the uh, the pathfinding algorithm, um, they tend to drop off the avenue very quickly and go into the side streets right away. So the city is like a horrid uh, mess. But look at the population. There's a lot of people online who are like, "Oh, the city's so small. You know, you can only get to like 30 or 40 thousand people." I'm at 220 thousand people. This is my first city in the game, right? Um, no, some people are asking if the cities play without you. No, no, no. I I played some of this offline, you know, in the few windows over the course of the week where um, it was it was open and available. Um, these aren't abandoned, are they? Oh yeah, high taxes. <laughs> um, so let's clear those. Too many deaths. Yeah, so, and with bad traffic also means bad uh, police coverage, bad fire coverage, bad ambulance coverage, all those things. And in particular, I've really tracked down the source of the cause of the poor uh, casino money, although this one's making some money, uh, this one's losing money, my extra casinos weren't making money either. It really comes down to traffic, like look at this gridlock. You know, I went in, I put in uh, streetcars and proper buses, I upgraded the bus terminal and all those things, and that's why the city is so big. And the reason the city is so big is also the reason there's so much traffic. Um, so you know, it's hard to say that the city's going bad, but it's kind of maxing out its potential. Um, and this traffic, like, it's just coming to a dead dead stop. So I think we've reached the limit to uh, kind of what I can do with uh, with Las Brussels here. Yeah, too many grids. There's lots of things that we can improve on in the next city. And that's why I think I want to uh, wipe the slate clean and, and start another one. Um, all the industrial zone over here is gone. It's all residential now. Uh, in fact, I don't think there's a single resident or a single industrial zone in the entire city. Nope. All green and blue. And that's it. Uh, I did crank the taxes at some point, but so I, I mean, it's beautiful. I, I really am quite happy with the way this looks. I mean, it looks like a big city. It's boring with all the grids, yes, but it has enabled it to do some pretty impressive things. But this traffic, without going and blowing up a bunch of things, um, there's not really going to be any way to correct that. And ultimately, that'll be it. I'll have to, I don't know, run the city, keep making a profit while I babysit it, make sure it doesn't burn down, and then um, basically kind of undo a lot of what's going on here. So that's why I'm thinking starting with a, uh, uh, starting with a blank slate would be an excellent, excellent idea. I mean, all you hear is sirens, and it's all people who can't get anywhere. But look, I got the London double-decker buses. They're cute. Yeah, see? So, yeah, let's let's start a new city. This one with a focus on culture and tourism and gambling right off the bat. Uh, I want to pop out to region view. I'm kind of curious, is Demonac currently online? 
No. But he's the other person sharing my region. He's been playing, and he's been plagued a little bit by um, uh, by some of the the server issues, and that his regions weren't properly sharing resources, which is definitely a server-based thing. So we're going to go over here. This is Traviatam Noel. That's the default name in this area. Uh, it's a big, flat, empty, forested area, and I'm going over here so that uh, Demonac and I can actually interact with our cities. Uh, Ava will be apparently joining us very soon, so I'm very excited for that. Um, actually, I'm thinking. Okay, I do have Skype going. We might we might jump on a Skype call later on. So, here is our, our city location. Totally flat, perfect coverage of the entire space. It does not have a ferry. It does have passenger rail, um, and that's it. Now, the awkward part is that the entrance to our city is here, and our passenger rail is over here. So, tourists are going to enter in both places. Now, I think I can actually extend the rail. I'm not sure. I haven't actually tested this. I mean, there is rail here. It's heavy rail tracks. What do I need? I need a town hall in the region and upgraded to a city hall and a department of transportation or a trade port. Well, I'm not going to have a trade port in here. So department of transportation is definitely possible. And then I could route this track a little closer because what I'm thinking of doing is having my tourist area be right off the main highway here. And in fact, what I might do is divide the town into two. Um, Drive the main avenue straight down because that's that's pretty common and straightforward thing to do, um, but r but there's going to be like everything kind of touristy is going to be on one side, so that all the way all the tourist traffic can get to it really quick and easy. So here will be all the casinos and the coliseums and the I don't know whatever the slave pits, the gladiator arena, all that kind of thing will all be over here, um, and then with an airport here. Oh, how does the wind go? That's that's an important first question. Let's take a look at that. Which way does the wind blow? Crap! In exactly the wrong way that I was hoping. Exactly the wrong way. Because I could have put the in industrial stuff on the other side over here, because industry can use airports. Uh, although, I'll probably want to max out on the touristy type upgrades for the airport anyway, so maybe this is not the end of the world. Uh, let's take a look at the chat, see what people think of all this. Yeah, slave pits. Slave pits are very important. Clean, eco-friendly. Well, that's the thing. Like, I'm, I'm kind of split in that I do want to make a nice, like, clean industry town at some point. I suppose there's no reason this couldn't be it. I could do something like stick the industry here, right? Leave room here for a future airport. Put the touristy stuff right above it. And that way there's, there's some sort of dual access there. Early on, with all the dirty pollution, it'll get blown away. But then when we get, uh, we'll get a university in there and everything like that, and we'll get super high, um, clean, high-tech buildings. Right? I think that sounds pretty good. Uh, an education town in the future? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure how well education... Um, yeah, and curvy roads. We're going we're gonna to look into that. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I want this to be a pretty big, powerful city, probably. I don't know. The thing is, you can make a very minimalistic... Um, and highly profitable tourist town. You're going to see when I put up my little tutorial videos on, on tourism, you're going to see this microscopic tiny town that's got like 4K population. It's got nothing going for it, and it makes like 40K money every day from casinos, just hand over fist for free without even thinking about it. Yeah, bigger squares, less intersections. Yeah, there's there's a few things. There's there's a funny little there's a few little gotchas with the transportation. And the problem is in the chat. If I listen to everyone, it's going to be this most schizophrenic thing because people want different things. There probably will be mostly avenues. They're more expensive, but they're really good. I will probably build bigger squares, which are great when you get to the stage where you get big um, skyscrapers, and and that also means fewer intersections. Although fewer intersections has its own little gotchas because it means a fewer places where people can turn around and do little U-turns. It's, it's a very, very sort of funny oddity of the system. Um, anyway, without further ado, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the avenue out a little ways and then make a T out of there. And that'll sort of be the split. I'm going to leave this area empty for a future airport. And then I'm going to start building sort of some residential, commercial, industrial, and just get the basics of the town going at that point. We'll stick a coal power plant down here in the bottom left corner along with the sewage treatment plant and, and get that going because you do need some basics because you can't actually start with your casinos and stuff until you've got um, water and power and 21 commercial buildings. So you've got, you've got to have a pretty good commercial base before you start. It's, it doesn't take much effort, but it takes some. It's a... Uh, 
crack open a soda. Don't make it T-shaped, make it a Y shape so there's no intersections and people are saying little things like that. Yeah, well, we'll see. We're going to try a few different things, but I mean, I'm, I'm partially concerned about space efficiency as well as just sort of intersection efficiency. Um, yeah, I'm sort of going to arbitrarily just pop it out a certain amount here. Um, I guess, I mean, I could do something like this and then go around and make a big block, but I don't, I don't think I want to. I'll let people sort of drive forward a certain amount and then they're going to turn either right or left and then we're going to see from there. You know, it might not be optimal, but we're going to find out as we go. Um, I don't really need this side of it yet. I'm actually going to start on the, uh, the opposite side here first. You know, it always tells you to stop here, but it's almost, I'm not convinced it leaves enough room for really, like, decent amount of buildings on the edge. Maybe it's fine. I don't know. What I think I'm going to do is, is going out straight here, and then I'll build, I, I think I will build a little kind of arc here, and then may, maybe a few more of those. Actually, maybe I should have stopped it short, and eh, we'll, we'll worry about it later. All right, so we've got the basic thing down here, um, and then what I'm going to do for the industrial blocks is, so I think this is the guide for that and that's the guide for the edge of the screen. I'm actually going to use this guide. That way it'll give me a little bit more room to play on the edge of the map for um, my power plant expansion, my sewage expansions in the future. Uh, unless I'm mistaken about something, I think that's going to be what we want to do. So I'm going to stop building roads for a sec, and I'm going to go and plop down some stuff as is, um, because I don't want to overspend on road and then find out that I screwed myself. At the very least, I want to put down the coal plant, power plant right away. Uh, and we'll start it here. And a lot of these things can be adjusted later. I mean, the road layout, not so much, but most of the rest of it uh, is, is pretty flexible down the road. I know the coal power plant is fairly expensive, um, but hey, we can still take out loans and everything, right? So we're going to get started with um, a handful of industry. And we'll drop down a commercial zone here. And Oops, that's not what I meant to do. We'll probably dezone that in a second. Let me pause, actually. Eh, we don't need to pause. It's unfortunate they got rid of cheetah speed. Um, you can still select it, but it doesn't actually do anything. Yeah, all right, let's do that. So let's let that advance a little. We do need a little bit of water, although I'm just going to go to the, the map here and purchase water at this time and sewage as well from Perspica. I probably should have started by buying power as well. Just much, much smaller initial investment. Um, but, yeah, what can you do? This area is going to be a little less creative because it's going to be primarily the industrial area going forward. Um, and I'm a little bit confuzzled for the sort of commercial districts because I do like the blocks there with big square buildings. But then I think I'm going to build sort of a nicer kind of residential neighborhood here with more straightness and things. Um, but especially near the entrance where the traffic is going to be the worst, there's, there's a lot of incentive to sort of build efficiency here. I don't know, we'll see. Now, there's going to be the problem here that unless I put, again, while intersections are bad, right now the problem is that anyone trying, let's say there's a house here. Um, it's a bad example. Let's say there's a house here, and they want to get to the other side of the road to over here. The way they have to do that now is take a right, drive all the way down here, hit this intersection, then do a U-turn and come back there. So that is the problem if, of not having enough intersections. There's a couple of tricks you can do for some U-turns and things, and we're going to look into that in a second. How, about, how come I don't have water? I'm purchasing it. Is the region broken again? It says zero gallon an hour available here. But here it says 209 gallons an hour. Are you really doing this to me, game? Apparently so. Damn it. Um, let's quickly build a little dirt road just a little further from the industry to give us some space. Because again, we're not going to build this uh, tourist area for a while. 
How's the uh, sewage? The sewage isn't moving either. Ah. All right. Anyway, we're going to be taking out loans briefly. I mean, as soon as this populates, we will get some tax revenue. Um, I guess that dirt road, I could even just drop a little housing along it, just, just to say. People are coming in. Yeah, I don't even see any uh, regional demand. The region is just broken. If this, if this keeps up, I'm just going to go play Path of Exile. Yeah, see, Demonac, is, Demonac runs uh, Perspica, and he's complaining. There's tons of water there, but he wouldn't even let him trade resources between his, um, between his towns. It, it's, it's a big issue. Yeah, we're not using any. Um, let me, I was sitting idle here for a while. Let me go to the main menu and then come back in. That might force the region to reload itself. See, and it, I hate it when it says that. Like, resume. That's not the last city I played. Why would you tell me that? This is the last city I played. Which apparently has zero people and zero monies. That just tells me, like, the region is clearly not updating at all. Hmm. Unless we just play Civ 4 instead, or SimCity 4 instead. That might be good. Uh, by the way, if anyone in chat is wondering about uh, Crusader Kings 2, I actually just recorded a video for that, so that'll be going online soon. As well as um, the Laura Bow and the Sims 3 that were recorded in various live streams recently. There we go. Um, nope. Still zeros. So, I mean, that means we are not going to get, we're not going to get people moving back and forth between cities. We're not going to have shopping. Like the entire, the entire, like the economic benefits of being a region. The reason they have this game always on so that you can play in a multi-city setting in a region is completely moot. By the way, everyone who says like, who bought like the, the drank the Kool-Aid about Oh, but you know, the game's really complicated, so it has to be played on the server. No, because you know that you can play the game, you can have a city open, and you can lose your internet, or, you know, lose your connection to the SimCity server, which is very common. Your city keeps running. It's just the region that stops updating, um, and, and that's all. You can play the game, you know, offline for a certain amount of time, um, and then the next time you come online, it'll sync up your saves. So the only reason that they have the always-on requirement is for the regional play, and the regional play doesn't work. So, that's awesome. I don't want to play this anymore. I'm depressed. Look at this total, oh, total regional budget. Interesting. Poop is not flowing. Well, because my whole plan for the city was to actually skimp on the resources. In fact, I feel stupid for even putting in the coal plant. Um, because I want to be able to use that money for something else. I mean, the monthly or daily or hourly fee for buying it from a neighbor uh, certainly adds up. Did these things, like, pop and turn into gas? Poop! Oh, the poop bubble bubbles burst. That is really funny. There goes another one. Well, it's going to be a great game one day when it works at all. I'm not, I'm not playing this tonight. I'm going to go play Path of Exile instead. Or no, it's SimCity 4. It is, it is more genre-like. I just installed the uh, network add-on for the first time. Um, so I'm really curious to see how that works. So SimCity 4 it is. The EA servers have too much of a problem with poop. They've got to get rid of it. All right, let me load up SimCity 4. SimCity 4 Deluxe. Play. 
Hopefully having the add-on doesn't crash anything. Hopefully I installed it right. That's always a big question mark. Mm, my whole screen just went blank. Well, I mean, I know you guys are mostly black over there. I'm going to make this windowed. I'm going to kill the YouTube recording for a sec and come back with another cut here in a second. As soon as it gives me control over my computer again.